Yeah. Oh, fucking hot. <laughs> Already. Yeah. You think you're going to be lethargic? I can open a window. You'll be faint. No, it's fine. Open I windows. Got, I brought emergency water like two months ago. All oh, right. And it's it's there. Is it cold? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to work great. I'll just drink a lot. All right. Well, let's just let's just start with that then. Yeah. Some kind of grunt. Yeah. I'll be able to power just clear through. in your throat. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be oh. fine. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I'm great. Great. Yeah. You warm? Mmm. Mmm. Drinking blue. Because that's going to help. Yeah. I'm drinking blue too. I don't normally drink on the show. Alaska. Alaska. It's Atlantic. Oh, is it Atlantic? Is yeah. It? It's all right, actually. Where, where is the Atlantic then, Steve? Um. Faster. <laughs> I can I can never remember which oh, is which. Oh, for God's sake! That's why you're on the show. I remember it's either side of the states. Is Atlantic it? is um, Pacific is Japan, I think. Atlantic is ours. Atlantic is the one that surrounds us yeah. between us and the states, and then Pacific was the one with all the decent shit in it. Right. Yeah, I went to the Pacific, I think, or the Atlantic, or something. Yeah. I went to Wales. That's that sea, isn't That's it? the Atlantic, I guess. Yeah, Atlantic. Yeah. yeah. And I, it was was more it the salty. Irish? Is it the Irish Sea if oh, you're in Wales? Be. Might be. Oh, who cares? I don't know, but it was salty as, <laughs> salty as, uh, salty as salt. I was going to swear and I stopped. Oh, are you being are, responsible. Are you, yeah. Because uh, oh, Facebook it's... doesn't like it when we swear. Oh, does it not? No. But... Even when we beep it, it just. And subtitle it with like <laughs> asterisks. It says you can't. Because I was going to make it into an advert. I was like, oh, I'll try an advert again. Yeah. And they replied, like, the last one took a couple of days to get past yeah this one took 30 seconds to get rejected <laughs> no Listen, you can't you can't have stuff like shit or <laughs> fuck yeah like, I didn't say that all right we did say adolf hitler i don't know whether that's a facebook no-no yeah w- uh was. which one was it you were trying to push the swear wing one swear all right one. yeah the one that we tried like, oh we'll try you censoring did kind it. of say every swear word in that one yeah but it was all bleak sort of re- yeah yeah and like all the and the subtitles i wrote for it all had the asterisks that makes it funnier way. though I don't know what yeah. it is about bleeping things. It well, just a, makes it better. Yeah. I don't like I, if I watch like episodes of South Park. The ones where it's censored are just it's funnier. I don't yeah. know why. It just adds a little bit more to it. I mean, yeah, and it just it, it worked, and it was just like no, we don't want you to have. We don't want this to be an advert. I mean, no. I'll play it quickly so we can show people what it was. Okay, yeah. like first draft was just people, <laughs> 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 apples, <laughs> apples. <laughs> everything up yeah someone ate an apple now they're fucked yeah <laughs> so all right well this will remove some of the apples yeah <laughs> do something a little bit different and then i don't know uh adolf hitler or yeah you know, some- oh, fuck. <laughs> we made too many blonde people fine yeah. and spread them out move them around <laughs> then we got to this point where i think draft three you're like it's kind of feels like it's done structurally yeah. All the things are there, but it's yeah. just sh- <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're writing an essay, you're writing a review, you're making a video, and you're yeah. just like, technically, everything should work. Yeah. But just everyone's a. Passports, c- please. I'm <laughs> a banana. <laughs> that whole weekend is ruined. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, no, that should be fine. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> that was censored the whole way. I know it's self indulgent. Yeah. But you wanted more subtitles? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I no. put two years in, but I did like I I I watched that back a bunch when I was making it, and it made me laugh every time. Oh yeah, there's just something about beeping <laughs> shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because we were like, oh, you don't know, like uh, all the promotional stuff we do. Uh, we because we were like, oh, we don't really swear that much. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I watch, it, I was like, I don't think we swear that much at all. And yeah. then you go back and, and then I don't know whether it's I just re- just realize after you've said that that then you start swearing. Yeah. But if you look back, I don't think we've we've been swearing that much to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, it was like oh, okay, maybe for like all the Facebook promo videos, maybe we should have like bleeps because yeah. random people might see it, kids might see it. Yeah. We use it for an advert. What's the deal there? 
does it does does, does the content of one video affect the promotion of another so like if i was to swear in this would it affect the way they promote one where i'm not swearing I don't think so. No? No. Not in like the Facebook world anyway. I've already done one before. Yeah. It was, it was all right. It was interesting. Yeah. This happened. Yeah. Just curious about what it what, what it's like and yeah, just be interesting. It was a fun. I liked it. it. Made me laugh that clip. So like you said. Yeah. So it's like, oh yeah, try it out. But I think yeah. it's because they didn't, you can't even indicate that there might be a swear word in it. Yeah. So instead of the one asterisk in the in the swears, you'd have like, oh, all of it asterisked. Yeah. It was like, oh, okay. But... I mean, technically, that could kind of work. I could try that, see if see if it works. Yeah, because you kind of can tell from all this. What, maybe, and then maybe that's the issue, isn't it? They just want no swearing in Facebook. Maybe they want uh, their they, own they, currency, <laughs> but no swearing. Yeah, just homogenize everything, <laughs> yeah. so nothing matters anymore. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, yeah, try to try and swear less, I guess. Well, that's why Be I don't drink on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> You just you start to explode from the inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, normally it's you. But yeah, I'm yeah. a gentleman. I'm a romantic, so <laughs> that's just kind of kind of how it rolls. How are you yeah. anyway, Steve? I'm all right. I'm all right. I was I was trying to do this subtly, like turn the screensaver off, but I'm just lost in my Mac now. All right. I don't really know what Is that I'm a doing. Keyboard. Yeah. Let's just let's just let's just go back for a minute. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to? Do? I'll turn off the screensaver. Yeah. So I didn't have to keep uh. nudging the mouse every. 30 oh, that's seconds. part of the fun. Is it? Yeah, is it? Is yeah. that fun for you? <laughs> not, not for me, for the, for the audience. <laughs> yeah. We had an audience comment this week. Did we? Yeah. From the whole audience. Just <laughs> stop it. <laughs> well, it was the first it was the first genuine, completely random person who I think discovered our video through search engine optimization. <laughs> right. right. And it was about straight pride. So they were obviously just YouTube Googling straight pride. Okay. Shout out to whatever your name is. <laughs> uh, but I couldn't tell whether he's taking the piss or not, but I've decided to get behind him full throttle. Okay. Right, completely. Right. Um, his statement about straight pride was, better to have one and not need one than to need one and not have one with regards to parades. <laughs> so, <laughs> so say, basically, same thing with like, you know, assault rifles and, and pistols. You know, better to have a gun and not need. I think it's a true crime um, on the streets of LA quote or a generic quote from from wherever it's it, yeah it's better it's, to have a parade and not need it it's one of those ones that's like uh oh failing to prepare is preparing to fail yeah which is benjamin franklin i found out this week uh, not true crime not true crime uh. benjamin franklin <laughs> <laughs> i've got a kite benjamin franklin flights aren't <laughs> kites aren't electricity you prick bear grills <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's everywhere but yeah 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 so you, you might be upset that you're not touching your screensaver anymore you're just you're ruining i'm taking this off mate i'm what I'm taking it off. I'm not having this anymore. What are you wearing? Wearing a weird brace. <laughs> Why? A posture or something. Have but you been told to, or have you just decided? No, I'm going to torture myself this I week. I don't know. What do you? Oh, does, this, does this work? Oh, well, now it's screwed, isn't it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a brace. There you go. Oh, chaos. Fine. Okay. How does this work? So, do you know how it works? No. So for audio listeners, yeah. Nick's removing a very manly bra without yeah, taking his shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> kind of making it work. Does that work? Well, it's gone. Yeah, fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? Why was that there? Well, no, I was just curious. I'm because like I'm trying to set up my posture, right? That, right. That fixes your posture, apparently. Okay. And I've never driven with it before, so I thought I'd drive with it today. Yeah. And it did make a weird difference. Okay. But then I was worried about your shelf getting like, caught come in, and hanging yourself. No, because it, it makes your shoulders just like more broad. Yeah. I realised I used to think it was to appear shorter. Well, if I if I get more broad, I might die. <laughs> I might break your house. <laughs> <laughs> I've already like smashed into your ceilings and your, and your stuff like that. You live in a normal house. Yeah. I'm just not you're a normal just, person. You're massive. I'm not even that massive. That's the thing. It's well, 6'2", um, yeah. broad, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, that just makes you more broad. So yeah. you just walk around like... <laughs> like a seagull. <laughs> yeah, like an angry <laughs> seagull. But yeah, I don't know. That was, it's fucking it's bloody... Hot. It, it's twatty hot in here. It's twat <laughs> a swear word. You've already said them all. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Facebook <laughs> says no. <laughs> I don't know where that was causing me bloody heat or whatever. You know what it is as well? Because I went down south for a week. Yeah. And like, whenever that always you makes go... you very happy. <laughs> There's that. But like, every time I go down south to um, to like um, London or whatever, just, it, it's warmer down there. Yeah. Because yeah. you just get, 
Yeah, and then when you come up, it's by a couple of degrees normally. Like yeah, yes, you acclimatize. So I don't know whether that's it, or whether just just hate, just hate in my heart, just boils up. That's probably a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, but yeah, you've had a fine week. Yeah, celebrating with pale ale. Yeah, well, we're recording this later than we normally do. This is my drinking. And every night you drink. (laughs) (laughs) Got to turn off those voices, those hopes, those dreams. Yeah, it's working a little bit. It's the stress of filming weddings. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, god, drinking again. Why are you so fucking happy about? Yeah. Stop. Stop smiling for the camera. Yeah. Stop calling me cheese or whatever, whatever it is you say. <laughs> I'll take, <laughs> say cheese. Yeah. Don't leave me alone. Yeah. Someone asked me to do photos for their wedding the other day. I was yeah. just like, I just, I don't do photos. <laughs> I just don't. And be, and like, I mean, I got all these cameras. Well, this, but I'm not fucking. There's an not assumption. For money. There's an assumption that the art form is exactly the same, or it's like, well, yeah. if you can do a video, you can do photos. It's like, well, maybe, but I don't want to. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't understand. But it's 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 a whole different kind of pressure with a video kind oh, of yeah. thing. You can stay out the way. You don't have to tell anyone to do anything. They you want don't... you to do selfies of their wedding what? so that you're in every photo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have to be in all your photos. Is that what you're saying? That would be amazing. But no, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, no. Like it's you. You a, a photographer is expected to kind of orchestrate people and get everyone together, and it's, uh, they do all the candid stuff oh, as right. well. But they also do all the kind of um, the structured shots. Whereas most of the time with video, you're not expected to do that. You don't have to do that. You can just kind of sink into the yeah. shadows and just capture the day as it happens. Guess you're meant to be a fly on the wall for a video. Yeah, because people want to yeah. be watched. Yeah, as if and like, not a from whole, their perspective. But the photos a, are like, I'm putting this on my wall. Yeah, and there's a bunch of pressures that go with each one. Like with so for example, because I'm not setting shots up, I'll I I'm more likely to miss stuff. Like I I can't say stop, stop doing that very natural thing that you're doing, <laughs> and let me just get a light on it or something, so I can't quite see. Like it doesn't yeah. work. Whereas with uh, with photographs, you can you can set up all that and get it exactly as you want, but you have to do that. As opposed to being like doing video stuff, where like you can just you can just you can almost enjoy the day. Almost. It's like almost. There's still yeah. a lot of pressure behind <laughs> it, but you you almost because you're following them throughout the day, you're kind of experiencing it as they do. Is this another phone call from uh, your conscience? That's just uh, I've got real friends, so oh, right. uh, they message. Yeah, me so your computer doesn't tell you to do the wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did spot it. Has it happened? Oh, yeah, empty rubbish bins. Oh, okay. That's today. <laughs> In fairness, the only ones I've got left are empty rubbish bins and water plants. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of everything else because it wasn't. It stopped. Stopped happening. I can't water plants. No. Do you? I mean, you, do you mean like your garden, or do you mean like stuff pl- pot plants? Pot that plants. Are into, you're too vulnerable, mate. What do you mean? I've said this before. Like, I can't bake a quiche and I can't roll cigarettes because you'll be attacked at any time. Have you ever seen anyone so vulnerable as when they're running? Oh. Doing that, right. they can yeah. be attacked yeah. from anywhere. Yeah, baking yeah. a quiche. Oh, is it, is it done? It's stabbed. In the back of the <laughs> just a quiche. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just quiches it's, that are that specific. If you're baking a cake, they might the murderer might be like, maybe I can have a bit of this cake. Yeah, so but I'll no wait one, until it's over. Right, but I so a quiche isn't enough to stop someone from murdering you. It's but a cake too much might of an be. indecision. Right. Is it an egg? Is it a cake? <laughs> is it a, is it quinoa? It's an egg cake. Yeah. yeah. It's and you can have it hot or cold. Fuck off. Yeah. Can you have hot cake? I guess you yeah. can. Cho- uh, like chocolate fudge cake. cake. You can microwave it, can't you? Yeah. Do that with any cake. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it with anything. You can microwave anything if you want yeah. to. Microwave a pot plant. Save your water in it. You know, it's, my, it's that sugar I've just had. Mm. My energy just gone... Yeah. I went from being like faint, having some sugar diabetic, and then I'm... I thought they were sugar free. Oh, they were, but the Twix wasn't. <laughs> and that was right. a king size Twix, mate. I missed that. You yeah. missed me eating a king size Twix. Yeah, it's because <laughs> you're massive. Like, I just don't see it. <laughs> It was my posture. My posture <laughs> yeah. was overwhelmingly good. I know. I'll distract him from worrying about my health by taking off my bra. <laughs> <wearing> a, bra. <laughs> a wonder bra. Yeah. yeah. Guess you can have that. I don't know where, I, I, what the right way is to do it. This bra, this thing, <laughs> yeah. posture thing. Hey, do you like it? Uh, but, <laughs> but I just tie it up as tight as possible because I imagine that's the point. Same with weights. <laughs> you just lift up just as much as you possibly put can. All of it on. And if you can't do it, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Just that stand up straight. But I didn't notice it in the car. It just kind of worked. But it's f- bloody twatty uncomfortable. <laughs> I think twatty, twatty is twatty worse. Instead. Is it in America? It's bad. I don't know if it's bad in England. It annoys twat. me when Americans say bloody. 
Yeah, yeah. It irritates me. Well, it's because they're trying to I say something I almost forgive English. Canadians, because at one point... Because you have to. At one point, they were British. So oh, yeah. it can kind of... It's like trickled down their bloodline. Yeah. Like trickle <laughs> no, down swear words. Yeah. yeah something like that. It's the same way as uh, people saying, but Jesus. Yeah. Can you be Jesus? <laughs> don't think so. I don't know. That would scare the bejesus out of me if I be Jesus, maybe. I don't know. What are you doing? I'm just walking past it. All right, fair enough. <laughs> watch some Love Island. Did you watch Love Island? Of course not. No. Why? I, I can watch it with people. So if I find people who like it. Who are you with? Family. All right. <laughs> Like uh, yes, yeah, so, and it's it's to rip the piss out of them because it is it's it's just funny to talk and goggle box whatever the fuck that I never watched it. What's goggle box? There's people just watching TV and going yeah. like, oh. In fairness, I saw goggle box a few times and it was there were part of it, parts of it that I actually found quite entertaining. Yeah, there's a few podcasts that are like designed around that where you're watching, you're listening, you're watching a film while the podcast is watching the film. Yeah, and it's like you can hear people yeah, talk about it at the same called, time. Like riff tracks or something. They something were like really popular for a while. And Seems that, like a fun idea. Um, so did you did you ever watch Mystery Science Theater three thousand? No, so this th- wasn't a fan. I, I mean, I watched an episode of the new series. Yeah, but, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't yeah, well, the, 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 after the original series ended, they started up a podcast of just right. doing those, but yeah. over like modern films. Um, and there were a bunch of others that did them as well. Mm. Um, some, some, something had Titanic in the name as well. Like yeah. one of those groups. It would it'd be something that's quite cool. I think it would kind yeah. of work as an idea of entertainment. Well, to be honest, it's something... It, it's it's like the podcast thing. It's like mm. us doing this. It's like, these are conversations that we'd have anyway. Like, we already, like... Unless it's a movie that we're, like, really invested in. If it's something we've seen before, we already fucking talk over the top of it. Yeah, yeah. And, like, have those things. But, yeah, like, virtual reality cinemas. You just have people's with genuine reactions to stuff and conversation stuff. Yeah. I think there's a market for that. Yeah. Not that I want to do it, but I would look, I would watch a film that had backtrack of people that I liked. Mm. Anyway, just to chat and give insight about stuff. Yeah. Could be fun. Mm. Anyway, yeah, nothing much uh, my week either. Just, yeah, went down south, saw family, came back up and that's it. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, um, but there's been stuff in the news. Oh, has there? Yeah. There's been uh, important stuff in the news. Uh, so it did prompt um, a new segment. Um, okay. Which is... Oh. Child revealing a bunny with really weird haunting music. Magic's real. Magic's real. Did you not know? No. Right. Well, on the 17th of June, an Indian magician disappeared in a river after attempting a Houdini trick. Ooh. Drowned? No, disappeared. Okay. Yeah. Um, Chanchal Lahiri, who attempted to recreate Harry Houdini's fame trick by jumping shackled into a river, is now missing. He also died, didn't he? No. Didn't ha- Stop didn't- it, Steve. No, didn't Houdini die? Oh, yeah, he died. Yeah. Yeah. So he tried to recreate it by dying as well. No, he didn't die. He's, he's missing. Okay. He's disappeared. It's a disappearing accident. You're so pessimistic. I am. It's not going to work now. He was meant to escape <laughs> and swim to safety, but he didn't manage to emerge from the Huli River in the West Bengal state. All right. So magic is real, Steve, no matter how much you say. Okay. okay. All right. So he's genuinely just disappeared. He's genuinely just disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, magic's not real. He died. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a punch in the face for me. Really, oh. I, I shouldn't plan comedy for Ooh. this. Yeah, no, don't. No. But but the <laughs> <laughs> um, I ha- the, in uh, in the spirit of redactions. Yeah, I've got a clip to play for you. Okay, and I want you to guess. It's a collection of clips. Okay, I want you to guess what these people are making. Then the chopped tomatoes. And then we have our tomato base. Eight ounces of Hunt's tomato sauce. Yeah. Two tins of tomatoes. Yeah. So what we're going to do at this point is add in one can of diced tomatoes. Yeah. Plus a tin of chopped tomatoes. Yeah. Add our chopped tomatoes. Yeah. And we're going to add our blended diced tomatoes in there. Mm-hmm. Here are tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. So now the next thing to do is uh, add your uh, large can of tomatoes. This is a 24 ounce can of tomatoes here. Once the beef is cooked, then add 400 grams of chopped tomatoes, Mm -hmm. followed by two tablespoons of tomato puree. Oh, two kinds of tomato (laughs) in that one. (laughs) Whole tomatoes and pure tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the difference is. What are they making? What are they making? They're obviously making a tomato sandwich, aren't they? (laughs) Making some bolognese to mix in. I don't care what these 
people say. Right. I'm making a stand. You can't put <laughs> tomatoes in chili. Tomato goes in chili. No, it doesn't. And you had me second guessing myself. Yeah. For a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, have I been doing this wrong all my life? <laughs> <laughs> that is literally a clip from every yeah. every video on oh, YouTube yeah. on the front page when you search <laughs> chili con carne recipe. <laughs> tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Yeah, you should know me by now, Steve. I just see something and I ridicule you for it. It's yeah. just uh, yeah. tomatoes is a funny thing. To I was going to go a bit further and pull yeah. out a bowl of cereal with tomatoes in it and start eating it, but I'm not doing that <laughs> for your entertainment. It wouldn't entertain. Well, it might, it might do. It yeah. might entertain me. To be fair, yeah. you'd enjoy me. I'd enjoy it because you'd suffer through it. Because I yeah. don't think you'd enjoy tomatoes and milk. I don't know why. Uh, I didn't think about the milk. <laughs> <laughs> you make tomato milk. Oh. That's something else. Christ. Yeah, I don't do I don't do tomatoes in chili. I just do no. peppers. So the the I'm one right, so. I did I, I found a couple without tomatoes no, and it's curious. Isn't it? te- it's like Tex Mex chili, right? And so they use like diced steak and there's no tomatoes and stuff, and they make like a chili paste or something like that. And bear in mind, I don't like tomatoes. Right. Okay. So I just haven't yeah. put them in. Why? Things. Do you put tomatoes in this, Steve? Why do you put tomatoes in any? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I can enjoy it on a burger or a sandwich now. Yeah. I'm slowly getting there with tomatoes. Yeah. But yeah, I just wouldn't do it with chilli. I just don't know. No. Never been a tomato guy. Oh, fair enough. And plus, you never... And tomato paste, I think, I feel is different to whole tomatoes. Because mm. you don't really taste the flavour of tomato from the g- g- generic tomato fruit anymore. It's more like a little bit of texture you get in it. Yeah. Whereas tomato paste, you kind of get, oh, okay, you can definitely taste. Yeah. But I'd, I'd think you'd struggle to make a spaghetti bolognese with just tomatoes. And yeah. And no tomato paste or puree or anything. Yeah. I Most of the time, I'll, I use like... It pas- feels like they had salt and... Passata, which is like sieved tomatoes. Sieved. So it's kind of like tomato paste, but it's a bit more, got a bit more water to it. Yeah. Well, anyway, that yeah. guy died. Um, <laughs> uh, when asked uh, why he risked his life for magic, this is before he died. Yeah. Uh, he said... Uh, he smiled and he said, if I do it right, it's magic. If I made it, make a mistake, it's tragic. That's oh. a good rhyme. Now you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> the magician told uh, the reporter that he wanted to do this trick in order to revive interest in magic. So why do you want to kill yourself? Well, <laughs> yeah. make it, magic's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it kind of works. It's like, yeah, like would Houdini have been as fascinating if he didn't die? Well, it was a weird one because he, he had the pockets sewn into his body. Then he, that was his whole thing. What? Yeah, like I think this is going from all from television. Okay. But like I think in the roof of his mouth, he had a little pack uh, pocket sewn to keep the key that he would escape from. That's grim. Yeah. That's next level. I think there level. was loads of stuff like that, like in his arms and bits <laughs> and bobs. Skin pockets. New yeah. from Houdini Playthings. <laughs> he died from getting punched. <laughs> yeah that's the legend anyway so yeah just punched him at the wrong moment he's like oh fuck now he's dead yeah maybe because... someone punched this guy someone said like a fish I... punched him underwater <laughs> <laughs> i've heard that before like he got punched and a, a key that he'd swallowed punctured his intestines or something like that i think there's loads of it's ideas. probably a load of bollocks because but... there was the whole thing that if you punch someone at the right moment in the right nanosecond they just die like, like um, when their heart Uma beats or something. Yeah. Like Uma Thurman's been punching Kill people Bill. to death. Kill the, the punch. The... Oh, no, but that, that was, that's real. All right. <laughs> five finger that's re- death That's punch. real magic. Yeah, the five finger punch of death or something like yeah. that. She, he, he taught you the five point pressure point of death, whatever. It's a good film. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's two P- Quentin Tarantino films in one episode now. What was the first one? True Crime. Oh. Streets of LA. Oh, I've not seen it. You've not seen it. He wrote it, but he didn't direct it. But it's like one of his first scripts, I think. It's a good right. film. Um, it's got that guy in it. Oh, right. That guy. Yeah, guy. He's in... Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, twatting hell. What's his <laughs> name? <laughs> What's his name? Christian... Slater. There you go. Oh, Christian right. Christian Slater. Yeah. yeah. He sounds like someone yeah. else. You might not know. like it. It's kind of romantic, isn't it? It's a shout back to previous episodes. The feud. What? You're twat. It's a romantic film. <laughs> Is it? About love. You, All right. you wouldn't get it. <laughs> so that guy died. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, the reason I found that funny was because was because that's how I discovered that whole article. 
I read the first one of he disappeared. That was on the 17th of June. And on the 18th of June, they changed the article to he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, wow. Like, he's obviously dead, but maybe he disappeared into a big... Tr- no, he's dead. Yeah. He's just dead. That's that's Jeff Buckley's thing as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, he went swimming. Went swimming, just Didn't disappeared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things can take you. He's probably... I, I, I think there's people like that that I think probably got more famous because they died or because yeah. it all ended so quickly and ending at the peak as well yeah it's like if nirvana kept on releasing albums and they kind of got weak yeah then they wouldn't have been as yeah mythological yeah and there's like that there's that thing going around that's like the 27 club yeah which is like all the people that died when they were 27 it's all like Jimi hendrix and uh like yeah. amy winehouse was the last one yeah and like kurt cobain, and, kurt cobain and uh there was a there was a woman i can't remember her name but th- that's that's the patriarchy for you lots of people who would didn't want to be put in a box or like <laughs> put into a group or be part of a clique yeah were just f- pushed together as their corpses to be like now you're all part of the cool kids club yeah 27 like, oh, of yeah. you <laughs> 27 <laughs> no he did have kids i think some who? of them had kids kurt cobain had a kid maybe i can't remember he had a yes missus. he does he yeah. did he d- yeah do you stop having kids when you're dead i mean when you're dead... Well, when you die, your kids don't die. Yeah, but are they your kids still? Because you're technically gone. You are their father. You're a corpse. As in, you f- you're you on the birth certificate. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess makes sense. <laughs> you don't like... Yeah, it doesn't just erase... Time. Genetics. Oh, yeah, like biologically, you've inherited, haven't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Biologically, I'm your dad, <laughs> but physically, I don't give a fuck I'm, about you. I'm on, twat. I'm on, I don't give a twat about you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, on, I'm on another plane now. Another yeah. interior, higher plane. Yeah. Stairway. I just ca- I can't pay alimony from up here. Do you pay alimony to your kids? I guess you could. People okay. who divorce their kids. I wonder if they get paid. Give me alimony. What those? Give me still my pocket money. What's that stuff where the, the, the parents sue their kids in order for them to not be their parents anymore? There's a specific name for it. Yeah. And you get it a lot with like child child actors Celebrities. and stuff. So I thought it was always can... the kids suing the parents. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I the kids sue the parents. I thought the parents. Said, we don't want you to be. A kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you've got that choice as a parent. But yeah, as a kid, kind of burden, yeah, you it? sue your parents so that they're not your guardians anymore. Yeah, um, and, and then like go to it's happened a lot with parents Neverland. who've mismanaged their children's money. Yeah, because that would suck. Like if you're a childhood celebrity and they just spend all your money on nothing, like. Uh, yeah. Uh, a be- not a beautiful mind. There's so many films today. Clint Eastwood film, boxing, million dollar baby. That, like that. film was <laughs> just. I was expecting like a boxing movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of. It is for the first twenty minutes. Yeah, and then it's just horrible. Yeah, for an hour, like, oh. an hour and a half. Yeah, just oh, yeah. not good. A stool. Yeah, an early stool. Yeah, yeah. It's the biggest things that can well, and a magic trick in a river. Yeah, can end and same like a boxing match. Yep, that's the famous saying. Hmm. Anyway, uh, moving swiftly got- on. Oh, Seagull! Clips today. Oh, uh, right. There's a man robbed a bank with a banana, and he's in jail for 14 months. Oh. The thing that's interesting about this story, that I liked about this story, is he robbed the bank with a banana. Yeah. Um, he said, this is a stick up, give me the cash. He looked up the lines. What do I say <laughs> when I rob a bank? Yeah. And, then he, and then he went and handed himself in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he, got, he got a grand uh, in a bag. He got 1,100 quid or something with a banana. And uh, it, was in a, it was in a carrier bag. Yeah, a cashier bag or something like that. Just a banana. And he, went, yeah. he got out and he's like, oh. I'll just go to prison then. He's walked <laughs> over to the to police station and had himself in. That's strange. I just robbed a bank with a banana. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a police officer, wouldn't you just say, "Well done"? Like, yeah. This did th- 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 did they know it was a banana? The bank didn't. Right, it was in a bag. Yeah, they've classed it as an imitation firearm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I got that. I guess it is. It so I remember little, seeing this when when I was a kid. Did you ever watch Bugs? I think so. Bugs was like early. It, it was on. It was on BBC, and it was um, two guys and a woman, um, and it was th- they were like MI what the fuck ever number six five yeah I don't know, um, and they were like an elite hacking team that would like hack into places in order to stop 
other crimes from happening, right. as though hacking isn't a crime. <laughs> <laughs> they commit crimes to stop other crimes. Um, one of them, like, and like, they were on this like thing to to bust a heist uh, in a multi-story car park, and one of the and a guy came up to the back of one of them, mm. um, and got him to drop his weapons by getting like a bit of copper pipe and just putting it in the back of his neck. And yeah, so it's like imitating a firearm. It's like, is that illegal or is that just clever? I think it's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, they're his guns. You can't make someone else drop their property, even if it is with a pipe. <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> maybe. But yeah, it's the imitation. Fu- well, it wasn't being brandished in front of him, and he didn't yeah. think it. But he thought he was going to get but shot. But also, on the other end of that, if you were a bank teller and a guy came up to you with a banana mm. and was just like, "Give me all your money," part of me would be like, "This guy's fucking mental," and if I don't give him all my money, I don't know oh, what's yeah. going to happen. And any, I think any um, robbery attempt is meant to go along with it. Yeah. So I'll just get covered for it. So yeah, just... Sure. Yeah. That's what... Take it and you'll get caught and we'll get the money back. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. But yeah, because it was a banana and it was made to look like a weapon, he got 14 months in prison. Christ. Because uh, he said, he, the police said something along the lines of, even though he handed himself in, um, the cashier was probably a bit stressed. By a banana. By a banana gun. Yeah. It was, it, looked, it was a gun. It wasn't a gun. It was a banana, but it looked like a banana gun. It was, if it, I suppose if it was under a bag or a piece of paper or whatever. Yeah. There's people who've robbed... Uh, well, I can't remember whether it's happened or whether it was a good idea in a sitcom, but it was like you can rob a... Someone robbed a bank with a phone. Yeah. And just said like, well, I've, I've got someone on the phone. He's got a child with him. It's my child. If you don't give me the money, he's going to kill my kid. Right. And then they gave him the money. And left. Yeah. Probably got caught. I don't know. There might be... Phone booth? I can't remember. Mm. That's a weird film where they just put Colin Farrell in a phone booth and called it a film. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. It's like a 40 minute film. <laughs> as if there wasn't enough material to do in a phone booth. Yeah. And then who's the other guy? There's another person. Who's Deadpool? Ryan Reynolds. Mm. They put him in a coffin for an hour. Decent. They did Buried. That's pretty good. <laughs> buried. Phone booth. Yeah. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> the ideas are crazy. Um, okay. So I've been trying to keep it light. Um, yep. Just because Until... uh, we're a light show. Right. Uh, so new segment. Um... Oh. Guy jumping into a frozen lake toe in the water oh. oh i'm not quite happy with that segment yet no but it kind of works i'm, I'm seeing what it's like it needs more blood uh yeah so we'll warm up to it um yeah. an alaskan teenager allegedly killed her best friend after an online stranger posing as a tycoon offered her nine million dollars to oh, carry t- out her murder i thought he said he was posing as a haiku <laughs> <laughs> uh, i am the five seven five a concept <laughs> <laughs> Only speak to me in brief. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh. I thought it was just going to be like a roller coaster. <laughs> He's some kind of tycoon. Yeah. Maybe he is a roller coaster tycoon. So, okay, go do that again because I've just talked over the whole thing. Right. He was posing as a tycoon. So, some guy's a tycoon. Yeah. Met this girl online. She's like 16. And told her that if she murdered her best friend mm-hmm. and filmed it for him, he'd give her $9 million. Right. So, she did it. And then he didn't give her the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a cunt sorry twat what, have, yeah, tw- yes twatting a twant I don't know uh, uh, yeah Denali Bremer 18 of Anchorage is accused of plotting the murder of Cynthia Hoffman 19 this month Miss Bremer allegedly sent Snapchat video of the killing oh to the Indiana man <laughs> that's nice <laughs> the Indiana man who was only 21 who offered her 9 million dollars to kill her they were best mm. friends mm. and she was this guy was just like Snapchat me murdering I'll give you 9 million lol all right. I'm Bang. not sure I just trust a guy on Snapchat no. enough to push me over my moral edge. Not to murder someone. Unless you were already willing to do that kind of shit. To be fair, right. He did also ask her to sexually abuse her before the murder, and she didn't do that. Oh, okay. She so only she's, murdered she's her She's got best boundaries. Friend. Yeah, she only she, murdered her best friend. I've and got pushed a line. her off a cliff and texted her, the deceased's mother, to say, I'm around Danny's house or whatever. <laughs> To throw them off the scent. Yeah. Then they got caught. Prosecutors uh, said the case could serve as a warning to parents of teenagers. <laughs> Don't worry Don't about the raise parents. The kind of kid that's going to push their best friend <laughs> off a cliff when they get a text message. Yeah, I was talking to somebody about um, about their kids and like they monitor the children's um, internet history. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff, which feels very strange. But if they'd done it on this case. Then maybe they would have saved, stopped a murder. Yeah. They were really good friends. 
It's murder. It's, it's, it makes sense. Of like even even at the advent of the internet, we we had like parental controls on AOL. Oh really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had any of that. Like only until we were like thirteen, fourteen. Oh yeah, I probably didn't have a computer until then. Yeah. To be fair, and then all I had was Microsoft Encyclopedia, and the porn yeah. on that wasn't that great. In so. Carter. Yeah, it's just yeah. all it's all Mary Queen of Scots, and it's like she's still got her clothes on. <laughs> What's this? Yeah. Elizabeth the first. Yeah. Well, Why has she got no classic. head? I'm not really into this. Yeah. Um, so we're still. Oh my God! There is no more to work up to it. So let's go straight into it. All right. Um, this was written as. Um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be another one. Uh. Uh, this is written as an experience, just to get into the mind of somebody. So somebody's gone through something. Let's hear their perspective. Okay. And I, as much as I do find murdering your friend for nine million dollars because of a, a Snapchat tycoon guy, that's funny. <laughs> this I couldn't describe why I found it funny apart from just how insane it is. Yeah. And how much I'm, I I wish it happened to me. Yeah. Uh, it was a bright sunny day at my girl's grammar school in 1983. I was 13 and proud to have been chosen to throw the javelin for my house team. Oh, okay. It was a rare moment of confidence. <laughs> I was bullied at school, had few friends, and home was a tough place. It's about to get worse. My mum and sister were loving, but I didn't get on with my stepdad, who made me feel worthless. Mm. I waited for the teachers to call me to throw the javelin. <laughs> <laughs> Ahead and to the right, I could see my classmates, Sammy and Sarah, who had volunteered to mark the distances. <laughs> I took my run up, threw the javelin with all of my might, and watched it fly. As it came down, it suddenly veered to the right, straight towards Sammy, who was distracted at the time. Oh. Everyone could see what was going to happen. They screamed her name, and in a split second, Sammy looked up and ducked. Oh. <laughs> I remember thinking, oh, thank God she's okay. But the javelin hadn't missed. It hit her in the face. Oh. <laughs> Good Just God. Just above her left eye. She stumbled forwards before collapsing and there was a lot of blood. Well, so, shit. I, I, was, that always, was that ever a concern for you? Like when doing PE and doing Olympic stuff, when you're throwing stuff, you're like, I might just throw it at somebody. Um, yes and no. So Yeah. The, we... You didn't like your class. <laughs> Kill him. First, like, why would you have people out on the field? Yeah. Like, Even if it veers to the right. Yeah. It's like, like, well, we need to be able to measure how far it's going. It's like, it sticks in the ground. Yeah. It doesn't land and then run away. Yeah. Like, just go like that. No. So that would never yeah. have happened at our school. And again, we did, don't be distracted they... when you're standing in the way of a javelin. Yeah. Of no. known incoming javelins. There was Not her fault. It's a tragic accident. But, yeah, you go like, that seems insane. At our school, they always made a very big deal of, like, here's the line. The person that's throwing goes, stands that side of it. Everyone else stands this side of it. Mm. And you throw away from the line. Like, that's how it worked. With anything projectile-based. Well, I guess this was in 1983. So things were a bit... So it was a different time. You know, Michael Jackson was top of the charts. Mm. Jimmy Savile was making dreams and nightmares come true. (laughs) And javelins weren't taken as seriously. Yeah. Hit your friend in the face with a javelin. Yeah. Twat. Like, I'm assuming she died. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no coming back from that. You can't, you can't, you know, sew up a javelin in the face. No. Just above her left eye. So yeah. it means it, like, yeah, bonk straight well, into but it. Yeah, but we did do that story about the kid that fell out of a tree. Yeah, spike and, weather is it. And a spi- yeah, went straight. <laughs> and it just kind of missed everything. Yeah, and I think 1983, you didn't really have that either. They couldn't mm. fit her in the ambulance. A, a javelin's a bit bigger than, <laughs> like, whatever the hell it was that went through his. Yeah, I think it was just like a fence post or something. <laughs> but he was like, he like massive. picked himself up or something. Yeah. I can't remember. It was like a skewer, like a like a oh, kebab yeah, skewer kebab or something skewer, wasn't like it? that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my memories after that are blurred. I remember wanting to go and help, but apparently I was just running around in circles. I imagined you would. Yeah. If you just... Killed your mate. Hit someone with a javel in the face. Yeah. You'd be freaking the, the the twat out. Yeah. I think twat might be worse than fuck. I think so. And it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone eventually noticed and I was taken inside and given sweet tea. The, ke- the teachers kept saying, she's going to be fine. Who is? <laughs> the javelin in the face. Woman. No, she's, no not. she's not. Not at all. No. Uh, she got transferred <laughs> to a neurological hospital. <laughs> she's asked, got no brain. <laughs> I asked my mum, is she going to die? My mum said, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> then she started to panic. 
uh, the, the the girl. <laughs> We're laughing. It's tragic. It is it's so insane. Yeah. Like I would. I don't. I. I. Right. This might sound. Dark. I'd love to have seen someone at my school get hit in the face with javelin. <laughs> I think if that was the You'd talk of the day. That. Yeah. He's like, that was a weird day. <laughs> you know, I'm all for stories. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. He's, some kid landed, uh, got a chinook because he was part of the RAF cadets or whatever. Yeah. And they landed a chinook in the field. And that was kind of boring. But if someone hit him with a javelin. Like, yeah. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, Sammy died four days later. I didn't go back to school for the rest of the term. I did attend the funeral. Her parents never blamed me for her death. And they were actually quite kind. I guess you have to be, don't you? In that well, situation, you can't hold on to anger because it's like a completely tragic accident. You can't hold it against the child. 13 year old yeah so i'm I, i'm fully with her on the um like they don't really blame me because it's like it's an accident that's no one's yeah. fault i mean if anything it's sammy's fault but i don't know well, it's the teacher's fault right yeah i should have noticed that you shouldn't be throwing javelins at people well you, you, not much should be in the landing yeah, zone that's of a javelin. Point. like i would like uh, my initial thing is like personal responsibility it's like well don't get distracted when there's projectiles coming your way but yeah then but the then other side of that 13. is like you're a child yeah. and you shouldn't have been put there so yeah, yeah. no yeah that, that that makes more sense um, i had that fear about this, this but then i'm not job. sure as a parent i'd then be kind and be like okay i know it's not your fault our child's dead please leave us alone well, I get you'd be too lost in grief, I yeah, guess, to be like, I'm not going to take out on this child. Yeah. You probably wouldn't want to take on anybody. You'd just be like, I just need to deal with this and just kind of go on through, I'd imagine. But yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, lastly, maybe this. I don't know. I didn't plan this. Oh, science, dude. Oh. Science. Science. A US man on the run from police has denied having an attack squirrel that he fed... To- <laughs> I don't have an attack squirrel. <laughs> um, that he apparently feeds meth to. Uh, <laughs> I don't have an attack squirrel that I give meth to. Uh, the squirrel was uh, found when police searched a home in the U.S. state of Alabama on a drugs raid. Officers had been warned before the raid that the squirrel was fed meth to keep it aggressive. <laughs> he stated, you can't give squirrels meth. They die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. How do you know? Well, yeah. Well, he goes on. Uh, he, this is the guy who owns this attack squir- uh, non-attack squirrel. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that he gives meth. Placid uh, squirrel. You can't give squirrels meth. It would kill them. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right. So you're not certain. You've yeah, not tried. <laughs> It might die. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I've never but tried it. If you gave a regular squirrel meth and it didn't die, would yeah. it not then maybe become an attack squirrel? <laughs> yeah. He's just a baby. He's only ten and a half months old. He's not a trained attack squirrel. <laughs> not like all these other squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> weird thing to deny. I haven't trained him to attack. No, he just oh, okay. he just does it because of the meth. Where did, where did he get that uh where did he learn how to abseil? Oh, he yeah. did it on his own. Yeah. <laughs> it's all scores abseil. Where did he Brick. get that, like, ten miles stare, that really far away look in his eyes? <laughs> yeah. And he's not on meth. The squirrel is safe. The public isn't in danger from any kind of methed out squirrel in my neighbourhood. <laughs> <laughs> Science. <laughs> yeah. You can't, they're, they're not attack squirrels and you can't give them meth. All right, okay. And that's one to think on. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> land on that note. Girl killed. Girl killed friend. Girl killed another friend with a javelin. And man does not have <laughs> an, an attack, attack squirrel, squirrel in his neighbourhood. Yeah. Yeah. Is that you this week? That's me this week. I should Jesus do more, Christ. but um, I'm trying to keep it tight. Yeah. No, that's fine. I just need to fucking. And it's hot. It is warm. Very warm. Oh. It'd be weird if the episodes got shorter as the summer rolled on. Just I couldn't stand to be in the room anymore. No, it is it it's it is exceedingly warm now. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Something. Um. All right. I'll okay. keep it short. Steve's collection of useless meanderings. Hmm. Don't have to keep it short. Scum. Well, I've got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've already burnt through my Stella tomato material. <laughs> <laughs> the king, the king tomato bit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I love that you had. You did, it did give doubt to you. Yeah, because I did mention it enough times, and I was like, I was watching back. I was like, yeah, I think I was just trying to get a riff going, and you just not give me any of it. But in the meantime, you were just there, like more and more crippling doubt. It was. Like, it did. It maybe, followed me for a I'm few wrong. days, and I was just like, I'm almost certain. And then I start going into it, 
Yeah. And I was trying to figure out how I could best demonstrate how wrong you were. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, uh, anyway scum. I, I might shorten that. We, 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 we don't need to lose more material, I suppose. But, like, it's it, scum it just... The scum intro. Yeah. Yeah, It's sure. starting to seem... I might just go, scum, and just leave it at that. Do whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, a man killed himself while in, uh, in public while at an open mic night at an Oregon coffee shop. <laughs> Shortly before he stabbed himself, he played a song called Sorry for All the Mass. <laughs> <laughs> What a hero. <laughs> what an absolute hero. Yeah. <laughs> I apologise in advance. <laughs> See you all in hell, bitches. Yeah. That's you another javelin up. in the face scenario. Yeah. Like you'll never forget where you were that day. Yeah, so this is <laughs> Is this magic? Yeah. <laughs> I hope is magic real? <laughs> yeah. Magic's not real. Redaction. <laughs> Just write redaction. <laughs> oh. It's a good joke though. Yeah, well, like the, the, I think you'd you've got to you've got to have like a sense of humor about your own suicide, which is yeah. a weird thing to have because you would assume by that point you've like you've lost all want to Laughter. be funny and everything. But yeah, that is a funny thing to do. Yeah, you'd want to see it. Yeah, if you had that good sense of humor, you'd I'll want go, to see I'll go to that show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but you'd want to see your the reaction of everyone else to your plight. Yeah, you? yeah, 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 yeah. What they say is say like Tommy Cooper died great because he died while people died. were laughing at him. Yeah, because he was on stage doing a show at the time. Yeah, and no <laughs> one realised that he was that, that that he wasn't joking. He but yeah. he was having a heart attack on stage. Yeah, and the amount of like wrestlers who died in the ring, like imitating combat. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> like it's. It, ha- it happens. Just the javelin comes out from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. I, I pro- probably once or twice every decade, you'll find a big story of a wrestler who's died in the ring in like a mainstream promotion. The only one I saw was the one that you sent me about this guy who went on a killing spree, killed his wife and kids or something. Benoit. Yeah, yeah Chris Benoit. Him. That was like 2005, 2006, maybe. And his legend lives on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but um, hey, uh, like property prices in that area plummeted. Oh, like he, he lived good. in a very nice house in Georgia, and um, there was a I, I I read this article by a guy that uh, bought his house afterwards, and he was just like, "Well, I should have paid this much, but you know, because of all the murder." Yeah, like I, I'd live in a really house. good. It sounds interesting, right? Well, I don't know. I think it'd be, it'd be more interesting just as like a passive thing. Well, because mention. I don't believe in like ghosts and all yeah. that shit, so like all that side of it doesn't really worry me at yeah. all. Um, but like, I think there are houses that can make you go in, like The Shining. I think you can go insane. Yeah. If you're in, like, isolation. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think, like... But then, there is memory in environments in weird ways that trigger memories or subconscious memories in your mind, mm. I think. Like, when you, like, you say, like, what, someone's afraid of water, they might not know why. Yeah. But when they're around water, it triggers something in them that they get freaked out about. Or there's something that accesses a repressed memory or something like that. Yeah. So I imagine there's certain environments you could be in where you could feel haunted. Yeah, but yeah, don't think because that. But then you kind of want to carry on the tradition of haunting, murdering people. your family. Murdering, yeah. If you move into a house where a guy went through the effort to murder all the ones he loved, you kind of yeah. you don't want to let it die in vain. Yeah, no, let's make this a legacy. Yeah, then you, yeah. then that house gets passed down to your kid. Well, not your kids because you murdered them, but yeah, to your friends. To, yeah, they gets kill their passed family. Down to the next guy, it'll be worth less. And slowly, we're recovering the economy by making affordable housing exactly. by murdering. Exactly, people. it's the economic murder conga. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. So that song. Yeah. Who started a conga? I don't a twat. Know. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most Follow valid. Follow me, guys. The most valid use of that word so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, thinking about, I was thinking about it recently, actually. There's a lot of... Stati- I, I looked into statistics briefly. Because mm. I just thought... I think I was in Wales and there were lots of sheep. And I was like, I wonder how many sheep there are. And there's like... <laughs> one, two. There's, yeah, there's like one sheep for every four person on the planet. Which seems like a lot of sheep. Yeah. But it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But there's not that much lamb. Like in soup. There's less lamb than beef. Yeah, because all the sheep aren't dead. Yeah. But they will be. Uh, they? Eventually, yeah. I yeah, but a of lot sheep. of them are used for wool, so they yeah. won't necessarily be killed. But then when they die, they probably do something with it, don't they? I don't know. I, d- I think they rear some specifically for food, and they never really get past like six months old or something. Yeah. And then the rest of them. Just in the cycle. Are for sheep based products. Yeah. Wool. Fish. Yeah. Do they make any kind of cheese out of sheep's milk? 
I don't know. Probably. <laughs> probably do. Yeah. So then oh, that led me to sheep. Uh, that's vegan. But let me add to other statistics. There's only one Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls. Yeah. Um, and um, it's there's two billion Christians. Okay. That seems like a lot. Like um, a lot. I mean, they said there's seven billion or eight billion people. Yeah. Two billion of them are Christians. Yeah, but like. I you got think... to, okay, America. That's like, I think, 400 million, 350 million, something like that. Yeah. But UK China, is like 70 a million. There's fuckload in China. Yeah, but is China Christian? Yeah. Are they? Yeah, I suppose it depends how you're judging, how you're saying Christian. Like, is Christian anything to do with God and Jesus? Because, like, does it include Catholicism? Yeah. And stuff? I guess it would. Yeah. Because, like, I, yeah, China, there's, a, there's a lot of Christianity in China. Oh, I and there's a, then that's a massive population. Yeah, I never thought of the Christ as the Chinese as Christian. Yeah, I, I always assumed it was like, oh, you'd be like Buddhists or something. But well, they have like an emperor, or they did have an emperor. Yeah, and now that's and and Jesus. Yeah, so you've got an emperor and Jesus. Mm. Yeah, feels like a weird mix. Yeah, that's why em- everything's polluted. Emperor Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I found out uh, mm-hmm. consequent uh, as as it, I've said this a few times. I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't be trusting me. Well, but yeah. there's only 16 million Jewish people in the world. Six, 16? One six. Wow. That, yeah. That feels very small. Feels cr- and admittedly, you know, they had more in the 30s. But, like, still, <laughs> they, you know, this wasn't like an, inc- an insane amount before. If uh, like, Just take that, add six million to it. Well, you go, like, oh, it's 22 million Jews in the 30s, maybe. Yeah. And then, no, you go, it's still like a very small... Is that right? Two billion. I, I triple checked it. Sixteen Two million billion Christians, sixteen million Jewish people. But then, so, but, so wait. So what's the population of like Israel? Apparently, there's like six million Jewish people in Israel. Okay, and then and the then rest is is just everywhere. All right. And you go like, well, number one, you kind of got to give it to that. I'm trying to choose words carefully because I have no hatred, but I do. But it's not for them. <laughs> uh, but uh, if I was the Jewish community. Yeah. And I was criticised in the past as a community of being too numerous. Yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> state. I'd give like 10% yeah. of what we were. Yeah. Oh, no, we've already... There's, yeah, there's, there's not enough of us. It's fine. Yeah. And then apparently the Jewish blood, the Jewish cultural line only follows the mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seems weird. It's like a, so it's an it's an X chromosome or it's a Y chromosome. Yeah. So if your mother's something. Jewish, then you can be Jewish or whatever. But yeah. If, but if, if your mother's if not just, Jewish, if your mother's not Jewish and it's just your father, then you have to like buy into the religion stuff. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to become a Jew. Like it's like it's yeah, like they make years it of study. They make it difficult. But I think that's a good thing. Like because yeah, yeah. You get a lot Keeps of communities tight. You get a lot of fucking bullshit as like getting out of prison early because they've been born again as christians and it's like well this is a this this is this is an obvious uh kind of change in his character that's stuff, why there's two like, billion christians there was yeah. a billion there was yeah. there half was 16 them, million of them were ex-cons <laughs> and they all committed sin to win a prison they all found god and came out of it yeah but yeah it's it's another one of those weird things where if that number is accurate and that's the number that i've triple checked that number yeah um then you kind of got you kind of it's it's strange how much of media and um uh, perception there is of the Jewish faith in, in lots yeah. of stuff, and it also makes it funny how some people think that Jewish people control the world. Yeah, <laughs> like what's well, only sixteen million people, mate. I mean, yeah, it's not that many people when you consider the world. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think that's the case. There so, might be I controlling. I mean, it's not to say that there aren't some very powerful Jewish people, but yeah. I don't think anybody controls the world. I think it's all just a fucking mess. Yeah, what was that? What was that old Reddit question? What would win in a war? Um, two billion Christians or sixteen million Jewish people. <laughs> Duck. I can't Duck. remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah Whichever one worked. <laughs> but yeah, it's what it's what it's that social integration of it where you go like equal representation. You assu- I, I had assumed mm. that Christianity and Ju- and Judaism were quite close in number. Maybe not quite as close, but like relatively close. I, like there's more Sikhs than there is Jewish people. Maybe. I think it's weird. Yeah, I, I, lowest is Rastafarianism apparently seven million people. What is Lo- Rastafarianism? Rastafarianism? Yeah, well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think that the, the, a lot of the like misconception about the size of the Jewish community is probably because um, so much of like the media world is is dominated mm. by 
by Jewish people. Like it's a, like they go into kind of like the business side of that. Yeah. So that gets a light shone on it and being like, well, these people are all Jewish. They're obviously everywhere. But yeah. it's like it's not necessarily the case. It's just yeah, they 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 have like a a good business acumen. Well, yeah, it, because it's in the kind of the propaganda field of yeah, the that's Western world. Yeah, yeah, it kind of trickles into that. Mm. Yeah, it's a weird number. Yeah, if you're more than sixteen million Jewish people, right, right in. Yeah, I'm actually what like they've all got a membership card and it yeah. says what number they are on it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, they got their own stars named after them. Well, not named after them, but pinned on them. Yeah. Let's not go down this road. We're no. trying to be less sweary. We're trying and to be less Hitler-y. censored. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. We're being good. I'm. It's too hot. It That's is very what, hot. As the Jews said in 1944. In the ovens. The grammar vigilante in Bristol <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> sneaks out at night to fix mistakes and add apostrophes on different business signs around the city. Oh. I thought that one would annoy you. Just do something more with your time. Yeah. Count religions. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's, it's, they are so. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine that. I can't like. Yeah. Oh, this stop signs in all caps. That's yeah, but, wrong. Well, okay, but like, em- empathize a little bit. No, you've got things in your life, right, or that you've witnessed and whatever that bug you at like to a ridiculous degree that no one else gives a fuck about. Yeah, is that not the same as this guy? Yeah, with but his I've planned on mass murdering people. <laughs> That's like I dream yeah. of circumstances where I can go around choking and breaking ribs and yeah. doing yeah. all that. He's going out there and graffitiing. Yeah, but he's actually doing it. Where's yeah, the murder, uh, Nick? Got, got, got to give it to. <laughs> he's, he's he's acting on his hatred. Yeah, it's probably better than what I'm doing. <laughs> Just do you know you get that? You must get that right as well. What you start imagining violent thoughts? Um, I have done. Yeah, I think I, I, was, I thought today that because uh, I think ever since MSI released that song that I hate mm. when we were like twenty, yeah, and I was always like, oh, it'll be great to make a music video where I kill everyone who likes this song to this song. Yeah, that's the thing about songs like that that I realize is just like I I don't necessarily I I don't know if I hate the song I just hate everyone who likes it. Yeah, it was that song with the whip. Yeah. Um, but da but da but da but da. That song. I can't wait for you to. Fuck yeah, up. something like something. that. Something, and it was like about how oh he's a messed up person with. It know, was shit because there was a shit band that makes shit music. Yeah, and <laughs> we, we we were in a nightclub and a girl pulled me onto the dance floor to dance with me to that song. And yeah, I just violently said. No. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, I was, no, he just he can't yeah. dance. Yeah, this no. Okay. <laughs> like she was so you. confused. <laughs> yeah. When I say violently said no, I didn't hit her. No, no, but no. Like you could tell that I. Yeah. Uh, no means no. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to Nick and MSI, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, no, not going to work. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can't, uh, you, you, sorry, you just can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I was thinking today, like when I was watching um, Love Island, um, was like, yeah, it'd be great. I, like there's definitely things that I'd have to do in the build up, like Pulp Fiction style where um, Bruce Willis, another Quentin Tarantino film, a little violence, um, comes out, uh, breaks free and he kind of goes to pick a weapon to go out and kill. The spiders who caught themselves some flies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he goes from weapon to weapon, upgrading and upgrading. I think I have to do that with Love Island, where yeah. you just you start off. I really want to hear the sound of some of their ribs breaking. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay. It's just in there. Yeah. It's just, just, just the angry gorilla demon just needs to get out. Yeah. Get a little bit. I feel like, can we go to chiropractic? Get... <laughs> I'd like to hear that, but with like lungs <laughs> being punctured. Yeah. And of just people who are just like, well, but I only, I only date brunettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just feel great. And then they slowly build up. You have to start off with your hands. In yeah. my mind, you always have to do that. You there's, can't go straight for a weapon. There's something. There's something very visceral about that. It's like when you're making when you're making dough or something. Like you, there's an option <laughs> to use a mixer, but it's really just you want to get your hands in. Yeah. You want to. You want to feel the death. Yeah. 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 I get that. So yeah, that might be an idea. Mm. Maybe that's a segment. Nick kills everyone. <laughs> kills everyone. <laughs> just rear out loads of massacres. Yeah. So, oh, this is how I would massacre everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Golf club. Science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Make a competition out of it. What? How we'd kill a people? yearly montage of murder, uh, <laughs> and you'd have like judges to see, and you'd get like yeah. famous serial killers in. Yeah. Right to prisons. Send them to footage. <laughs> <laughs> which murder do you? Th- which multi-serial murder? Multiple serial murders. Why not? Do you yeah. think was the was the best? 
the most real. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, I thought the... Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the massive... The car crash. You'd have to... Yeah, called. you need to separate it into, like, different judging criteria and... Yeah. You assign it a point score. <laughs> you have the judges at the end holding up signs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could work. work. Yeah. Um, there's a law in the Philippines that you can actually legally kill or physically injure your spouse. Uh, or the person he or she is having sex with uh, when you catch them in the act of making love. So if you catch your spouse cheating on you, you can legally kill them. <laughs> your lawyer can be present. Yeah. <laughs> can you can sign them. this off for me? I'm yeah. about to go murder a bitch. I did see something about they were trying to make a law in the Philippines that made it illegal to sexually assault people. Okay. And I was like, I didn't, yeah, I wasn't sure about that. But yeah, if they've got laws where you can legally just what they do cause violence to people. The Philippines is just kind of crazy with stuff like that. Like they had that thing. I, th- I think it came into effect last year, or that maybe the year before, um, where the guy that runs the Philippines. I don't know if he's like a <laughs> dictator or if he's he's a tycoon he's who gets people to murder people. Or whatever. Snapchat. But he he enacted a law where it was legal to kill drug addicts in order oh, yeah. to combat the amount of drug addicts that there were in the Philippines. It was like, well. It's legal for anybody to kill them. <laughs> any dr- any drug addicts or drug dealers or anyone to do with drugs. Yeah, we have too many, so let's just murder them all. But then, how do you deal with all the murderers? It's the whole coyote. Well, ferret. It's it's they're, they're not murderers because it's not murder because you've made it legal. All the killers then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do with all those? Well, Once you get a taste for it's it. It's like the it's like the purge. Yeah. Hmm. It's a weird concept. Yeah. I never got on board with the purge. I, d- I never saw the films. I just know the concepts around it. Yeah, I think it was a little bit. I'm all for Battle Royale. Yeah, the Battle Royale. Was all, and, was um, good. What's the one with Steve Austin in it? The Condemned. The Condemned. Yeah. That was fun. It's a TV show. Yeah. Slash just a uh, bad detention. Yeah. It's like a good way to mould the youth with a constant fear of yeah. Fortnite for real. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw Hunger Games. It was Hunger Games, that kind of thing as well. I think so. Yeah. But yeah, it was just a weird twilighty kind of series yeah i think i went to the cinema and saw one of them with some people and it was yeah it was just like ah, oh, this is no yeah it was the whole people uh, placeholder characters to give to add the concern or whatever yeah of like don't get hurt that's the only reason you're in this film is for that whole thing okay <laughs> right yeah fair enough excellent yeah you watch um, the new black mirror no. no no is it good yeah i don't know why hunger games you know triggered that but yeah the the final season the thinks the fifth season Mm. three episodes they're really good yeah i think it's because miley cyrus is in one of them i'm a couple of i'm a couple of series behind on that to be fair yeah Um, i haven't seen like like heavy is it heavy metal right one with the dog i don't know robot dog spoiler robot robot, like chasing people down yeah yeah that's pretty funny Uh, (laughs) i find i find a lot of them funny when i don't think they're meant to be funny yeah, probably not. Series 5, episode 1 is probably one of the funniest episodes that I've seen recently. <laughs> and I think a lot of people go, oh god. Yeah. It's like, not even that it's horrific. It's just like, I think people are uncomfortable, uncomfortable with it, but it was yeah. done so beautifully. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is so funny. Yeah. It's great. Uh, uh, you watched I'm... Barry yet? No. You watched Fargo season 3 yet? Nope. No. Nope. What have you been watching? Wrestling. Nothing. Wrestling. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, uh, just wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> because they've got a chance to die in the ring. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a constant thrill. Yeah. He's, he's been hit with a chair. He's been hit with a stroke. Yeah, that was too far, mate. Yeah, there was. So there was. A, there's a guy in Japan. The, the, the reason that was on my mind is there was a guy in Japan who died. Uh, it was ten years ago this week. He died in the ring taking like a regular move because of the the amount of punishment that mm. uh, that he'd taken throughout the whole of his career. Um, they described it um, as he was internally decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go look this up. His name was Mitsuhara Misawa. His his like his, <laughs> the, ver- <laughs> the vertebrae in his neck like had, had worn to such a degree that his neck gave way within his own skin and he died. <laughs> Like, just taking, like, a standard suplex. His head came off inside of his body. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Crazy shit. As if you wouldn't notice when you're decapitated. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Like, my head's just... 
just like yeah you'd feel that right yeah i guess drugs but there's also a big thing with with japanese wrestling which is like in order to make it seem real to chop your head off they hit each other for real <laughs> like the, the, it's it's become a stupid tradition over there where it's like well, let's decapitate. let's let's like let's be big men and hit each other as hard <laughs> as we can and it's just like that's not you you're stepping away from what the fucking art form is there you, like <laughs> yeah. you're not you're not meant to be fighting for real you're not meant to be really killing each other it's still gonna fucking hurt yeah and it's still dangerous but like you're taking years off your life yeah stop ripping your heads off yeah yeah don't go too far crazy and there was there, there was another one last year or the year before who's like again like standard move and it and it, 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 it's uh, it's 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 usually it's usually necks it's usually necks yeah. and backs and like because that's like an instant kind of fucked got well, a million dollar baby yeah. yeah yeah and then there's a lot of guys who they've taken x-rays of them and been like you should be dead <laughs> yeah but um, because your muscle structure is such like it's so fucking bulked, <laughs> your muscles are actually holding your bones together, which isn't the way yeah. <laughs> it should work. If you stop eating meat, if you go vegetarian, <laughs> you'll just die. Yeah, you'll, you'll... evaporate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like it's yeah it's it's um it's a constant thrill. <laughs> um. Uh, damage to your frontal lobe can lead to a condition called Witzelsucht. The urge to make puns and jokes at inappropriate times. <laughs> That's just an excuse. <laughs> well, I got hit in the head as a child, and now yeah. I make puns. I got, got Vitzel sucked, you <laughs> dick. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but there is a there is a thing about that. Apparently, head trauma does create personality disorders. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they, they they've uh, Joe Rogan's always going on about that with comics, isn't he? Yeah. Like, is he reckoned? Was it Artie Lang? Has probably had some. Uh, I think I had one, yeah. But the famous one is. Uh, oh, um, trench coat guy. Yeah. Um, ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Oh my god. Really good guy. He was in a Motley Crue music video. I think he was in a Bon Jovi music video. He's yeah. He was like the original like bad boy of comedy or whatever. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. He's like legitimately not like that's that's yeah me taking the piss like. Yeah, it's um, too hot to remember names. Yeah, he was one of he, one of those originators like Lenny Bruce and uh, and Richard Pryor and stuff. Sam Kinison. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Sam Kinison. Yeah, yeah. And I remember having head. Well, I don't remember having head trauma as a kid, but I do. <laughs> but rem- you definitely did. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like maybe I remember, javelin shaped. I remember taking the training wheels off my bike, <laughs> and I remember going down the road. Yeah. And then I remember waking up on my sofa. <laughs> <laughs> That's head trauma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And there was a paramedic there. Yeah. And, uh, but I was convinced that I, yeah, my brain was like, oh, I'm probably playing it up. Yeah. But I don't think you can, get, you can play up getting carried down the street. Cause I don't remember coming home. No. But maybe no. I did. Well, like it's like losing memory and blackouts and stuff yeah. like that. That's typical signs of a concussion, but it could just be that you're young as well. Like, <laughs> yeah. as in you don't, you, you remember like fleeting moments of the day. Yeah. But I remember cycling down the road, coming home, telling my mum to call an ambulance. <laughs> me lying on the bed <laughs> yeah well like, i can re- i can't i can remember like the whole thing the the whole bee incident i remember running around a garden being chased by bees yeah and then i remember a doctor pulling stings out of my head but that's really the only yeah. memory i've got of it like there's no actual I th- and but then part of that is like well that's a that's kind of a trauma thing not of, of an impact but your brain will block out shit that is just going to cause you problems <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, and it just gives you problems anyway. Yeah. Just, just don't remember. Don't blame me. Yeah. I lost the file. <laughs> you have no proof <laughs> that it's my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and finally, Queen Elizabeth II still has a champion uh, for purposes <laughs> of trial by combat. And it's uh, Francis John Fane Marmion Dymock, a 65 year old chartered accountant. <laughs> 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 oh, he must have a stressful day. Yeah, every day he sees the Queen. He's, like, oh, he's God. just got the Queen phone. Have to fight like someone. The bat phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, got to fight someone to. The... Got to take an early lunch. Yeah, got to fight someone to the death. But it's modern day, so you get this sixty-five chartered, sixty-five-year-old chartered account in like a UFC octagon, <laughs> 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 oh, with a briefcase. <laughs> yeah. So the Bluetooth headset in so we can still work. <laughs> so I've got lots of work to get on with, Liz. Yeah, I need Leave to me catch up with my emails. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how she chooses. How old's the Queen? 
Must be in her 80s. Yeah. Must be. Easy. So just 20 years younger than her. Yeah. yeah. You're my champion. Yeah. How youthful. I guess they've got to get a new champion as well at some point. Well, yeah, I, th- I, I you think... You can't inherit a champion. I think it's just... <laughs> no, you have to name a champion. Yeah. You have to name your champion. And when the queen dies, sense. he'll lose that name. Yeah. Well, you're not my you're champion. Not champion anymore. Yeah. You're, ca- you're an accountant. You're an accountant. Do you think yeah. he was an accountant first or a champion first? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought know. I was going to be well set for life being champions of the Queen. But the choice, <laughs> that's the <laughs> thing. It's, it's not what I hoped for. In I modern think day, I don't think there's a lot of money in being a champion. <laughs> not in a sport that doesn't exist. <laughs> the sport of life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Protecting the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah he just got really bored in this job so he set up a side business yeah. and got really into that he's completely <laughs> forgotten about his championing days <laughs> still has to go to things yeah wear the armour it's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, queen yeah yeah anyway it's a warm day it is let's just it's all uh, good let's let, let's call it time of death <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh I'm yeah. at Sing It Steve. Yeah, I'm at Nick Snip. We're on the Facebook page where we'll have promos that get rejected by Facebook. <laughs> yeah. We're on Instagram at Pudding Teeth Pod. We're on Twitter at Pulling Teeth Pod as well. Yep. Uh, we are wisdom at Pulling Teeth Yep. If and you want to send us shit. Yeah. Stuff. Twats. We're on YouTube. If you want to send it, give us some love, give us a subscribe. Give yeah, us find us on iTunes YouTube because I always forget to actually say to people listening, we are on YouTube. Yeah, it felt really cringy at first. And then yeah. you go like, yeah, there's some people I know. Like, oh, what do you listen to it on? Oh, like Spotify. Yeah. Like, oh, brilliant. Do you know we're on YouTube? And they had no yeah. idea. Yeah, so, yeah. Fair play, cool. Yeah. All right, that was episode number 142. See you next yeah. week. Magic's real. Uh, Magic's real. All right. <laughs> <laughs>